Good morning guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Samuel Shai. This video I would be teaching you how to write a Python script essential that essentially crawls over a particular zip file. So let's say the zip file has 100, 200, 1000 CSV files, right? You wanna crawl over the zip file, take each, uh, uh, take each file from the zip file, move it to AWS S3 on a data lake on an S3 bucket. I'm gonna be showing you how to write the code, then we will be querying the data using Athena. All right, so the goal is essentially, you have a bunch of zip file given to you, right? You wanna, what you wanna do is you wanna go in the zip, extract it, crawl over the zip file, move it to AWS S3, okay? So that we could you crawl, we could run Athena or you can essentially query those CSVs using S3 so like, okay? So let's get started with this video. All right, let's get started. I'm not gonna write all the code because I already have done most of the work. So I'm gonna be pasting and I'm, I'll be essentially walking you over my thought process, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is the try catch block. All right. So we have a try catch, oops, try catch. I used it a lot while imports, right? We'll just to pass for now. So these are the imports that I need. Then I'm gonna define my um, um, uh, data and attribute. So over here, I'm essentially defining my S3 bucket name, my access key and secret key. Don't worry, it's gonna be deleted after the video. Code snippets would be there. So if you wanna do that, that's as well fine with me. All right, so now I'm gonna have a module called date time that's gonna return me year, month, and day. So for my data lake, right? So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see, okay? So this is a date time module, essentially a static method that returns a year, month, and day, okay? That's what we need to worry about. All righty, now what we need to do, guys, we need to develop a module called AWS S3. This uses a, I have already the boilerplate code done for you, so you don't have to worry, but what you need to worry is the concept, okay? All right, so I have the code. It essentially has a bunch of methods and attributes. What it does essentially, on the constructor, I create a client object, both of three client object, okay? So then what I'm doing essentially is I have methods called put file draw, put JSON, item access, get item, essentially find one and update, delete object, get all keys, blah, blah, blah. All right. <laughs> so essentially these um, AWS S3 is responsible for uh, essentially performing operations on AWS S3, right? So that's the helper class that we wrote. All right, so the next thing what we need to do is we need to write a module for data lake. All right, data lake. Data lake is essentially a wrapper for S3 class. So the job of the data lake class is to inherit from AWS and implement a top level functionality for that, right? So what does this does? Well, we have a method called upload data lake. It takes a data and it takes a file extension. The job of this uh, is given a raw data, a binary blob data, it's gonna upload the data to our AWS S3 on a data lake on your month and day partition. Okay, so now we have that. So essentially here, we, I'm just calling the static data module, getting the year, month, day. Once I'm getting the year, month, day, then essentially, uh, as you can see here, uh, uh, what we are doing is essentially we're creating a path, right? So the base folder name, year, month, day, that's the partition. Then the file name, that's the, you know, the, the GUID that we are doing here. And then we are essentially calling put files raw. That's gonna put the files to our data. Collapse everything now. Now the next step is uh, to develop a zip file module. So I already have it. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so the zip helper module inherits from data lake. So now look at my thought process. I'm, I'm, I'm essentially following, um, so top to the bottom, right? So AWS S3, then we have data lake, and then we have zip model. So I'm inheriting to build up my functionality, right? So it's what I'm trying to do. So we have a uh, module called zip helper that uh, essentially inherits from uh, data lake module. Um, now th there are a couple of methods that I have already written, and I'll explain you what those are. So get all file essentially returns list of all the file name in a zip file, right? That's what it does. Read file bytes, essentially given a file name reads the blob data or binary data. Read file name bytes in the zip essentially reads all the file in the zip file and returns you um, the data. So this returns a generator object. Remember a good Python developer would never use return. It would use the word yield, okay? Um, okay, so I have that done. Essentially what I did is, uh, I have a typo here. So what I did is I made a method called move all files uh, to AWS S3 data lake. Now that's the functionality I wanna achieve. So uh, the user will pass me the, the folder name, what they wanna create on AWS. And then what I'm doing is for file and get all files. So I'm calling my method here. Essentially this returns a list of all the files inside a zip file. Okay, so then what I'm, it's simple, right? I'm essentially calling the method read file bytes. Again, I made a functionality, right? Then uh, what I'm doing is I'm get, getting the extension by splitting a dot and I'm grabbing the extension. Then I'm just calling upload to data lake module. I'm providing in the data and I'm providing in the file extension. 
So what what you will see in my code, I'm, how I'm using inheritance, right? I'm creating my components and then my child component is inheriting from the parents, right? So it's what I'm trying to follow. Now, as easy as that, I just have to run my class and show you that it works. And then I'll show you the AWS part. Okay, so I have a zip file called, um, I have a zip file called zip test, which has a bunch of CSV. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the folder name here. Uh, I will say this to Sawmill, and I'll show you my AWS console, management console, that I do not have a file called Sawmill here, okay? So now I'm just gonna run this script, okay? We'll run this script, hopefully. So this is gonna, you know, crawl over each file. It's gonna read the binary data, upload to AWS S3. So now if I come to my S3 management console, I re refresh here, you can see year, sawmill, then year, then month, and then now day. And then we have a bunch of CSV files there. Beautiful, now, piece of cake guys. Now we have our beautiful little guy, um, what do you call that, glue. We could run a crawler on that. So I'm, I'm quickly gonna show you. So I'm gonna go, go to AWS glue, create a crawler, crawler, and then I can query my data via Athena. This should be very, 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 very easy. <laughs> So now um, I'm in my glue management console uh, and then I think somewhere here there is something called crawler. There you go, crawler, add a crawler. So we click um, test, okay, whatever, we don't care. I'm just teaching you. So test, we can click on next. Uh, we wanna crawl over S3. We wanna crawl over the data lake called my project. We click on select, next, next. Uh, choose an existing role. I already have one, run on demand. Uh, database, we will just, put it to the default. Uh, we'll use tbl underscore as an um, prefix and click on finish. And once that is finished, uh, the test crawler will run the crawler. I'll now move to Athena. It should have taken eh, probably about a few seconds. I just have two files, so it should. What is important is the concept of learning, right? Uh, so that, that that is what is important here. So whatever, um, so that's starting, might take a while, come on, come on. And once that is done, you should see a, a TBL underscore in the table section. Now, you could also use AWS lake formation, technically, I mean, it's the same thing, but um, whatever. So for now, let's just wait for the Athena to crawl over those partitions. Um, so remember, those partition year, month, they act as a partition. That means if you have a job that's dumping, uh, uh, that's uncompressing the zip files and dumping on S3, that way you can query those files. Uh, for example, hey, give me all the utility bills for the month of January, for the month of 2022, or in the last 10 years. So you could essentially do all those in the Athena query. Whenever you run any queries in Athena, all the data is essentially dumped again. All the results of Athena is dumped on S3, which means again, you could you know go grab, grab the data, your data science Team could grab the data from there, right? So hopefully, might take a second or two. Not sure, but let's wait. Uh, you know, until this gets completed. Once this is completed, you will see the table, and then you can easily go to the Athena and just say select all from this, blah blah blah. So should be easy, as I said. So what you would see, meanwhile, that's happening uh, is how I'm 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 writing my classes, right? So. Essentially, I, I started from um, parent to bottom side, right? So I wrote date time AWS, then I wrote data lake that inherits from AWS, then I wrote zip file that inherits from data lake because I need that functionality, right? So I'm trying to build my functionality in that way. Um, might, should be done in a second or two. I don't know why the glue crawler is taking a while. Shouldn't take that long. Uh, let's go to tables. Uh, I don't still don't see it because the crawler status is still saying starting. Not sure, did I start that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, might take a while though. But hopefully you got it, right? Um, uh, should I wait or should I? <laughs> okay, finally, uh, there you go. Took a while, man, <laughs> but it's fine. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. Uh, it's fine but yeah once the crawler is complete you know go to athena and simply query the data what you uh, want to do is you want to try this exercise because uh, this will allow you to practice your python skill object oriented skills you know on that so one table added you know ecpc now we go to athena uh, you know refresh here uh, you see this table my project uh, we could preview. I think I have to first load the partitions here. Um, oh, I can query it, but fine. Um, so now, um, as you can see here, I have all my data. I have my partitions here one day. I can say, give me 2022, 20, 20 years. What, what, I mean, I can do all, all sort of queries here and all the results are dumped on S3, right? 
Well, I hope you enjoyed it. The code is there in the description. Take a look at it. You know, try this exercise. Well, this exercise will help you to essentially uh, improve your concepts on S3, um, Athena, Glue, uh, and that, right? So give it, give it a try uh, and let me know if you have any questions there, okay? With that being said, guys, thank you so many much for thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Keep smiling, keep programming, keep learning as usual, and I would see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.